Is it accelerometer? Accelerometer? I don't know. But in any case, in this video, you'll learn how to use that sensor in your device uh, that gives you the readings whenever you like change it around. And also as a little bonus, we are going to see how to detect shakes of the device, which is for instance, like really helpful whenever you do the um, shake to feedback um, in your application. So the users can easily provide you with feedback without having to go through all kinds of menus. Come check it out. To show you how the accelerometer works, um, we're going to uh, set up this in a Xamarin Forms application. So here you can see a file new Xamarin Forms application. It's just a blank app, uh, which will give you this application that you can see right here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove all the labels that we have here. And oh, and this one too. And here at the top, of course, very important. Let's update our title. Accelerometer sample, there we go. Um, and if I save that, it should come back because um, I have hot reload enabled. So hot reload enables you to um, just make changes in your example, save that, and it will show up in your running application. So very cool. Um, first, let's add a button which will um, toggle our accelerometer on and off. So you can set it on and off, toggle, meter there we go and we want to have a clicked handler on there there we go um, and then i'm going to have three labels for now um, which has text um, x and let's give it a name so we can um, access it from our code behind so um, x result let's do something like that I'm going to paste that a couple of times xyz because it's three-dimensional our accelerometer so um, xyz there we go and um, yeah that's that's it for now so um, let's go to, into our code behind if i save this you can see them show up so that's pretty cool i'm going to our code behind i'm going to hold command here on my mac and click on this clicked event that's the way you can navigate through your code and um, in here we are going to actually access the um, essentials api so it's called accelerometer acceler oh, excel O meter, and I'm going to let IntelliSense solve this. So here we go. Uh, you can also manually add using general essentials uh, at the top, and you can see that it has a couple of things. So um, whenever we, this is the the toggle button. So I'll probably want to check if accelerometer is uh, monitoring so here you can see uh, you can access the apis to see if it's um, actually monitoring right now yes or no and if it is we are going to uh, stop it and if it's not so else we are going to start it so there we go um, and you can see for the start, we have to specify a sensor speed. So uh, this is kind of a thing that you need to know. Um, for the default fastest end game, it's not guaranteed that this will um, be uh, returned to you on the UI thread. So as you might know, if you want to do things on the UI thread, the UI is just a single thread and you can do things on background threads. Uh, but if you want to do things on the UI thread, you will have to do like the device begin invoke things so whenever you use one of these three um, you want to make sure that you're on the ui thread and um, invoke things on there because else your application will crash if you're going to use the sensor speed ui um, you will be guaranteed that um, you know the readings might be a little bit slower because it's not as fast and often as in a background thread um, but it will happen on the ui thread so you're sure that um, you can update the ui from there so I'm just going to do this one. If you're not going to do this, uh, like I said, you have the device begin invoke on main thread. That's the thing that you want to use for um, all the other readings to make sure that you're on the UI thread. Um, but for now, this is good. I'm going to set up um, the accelerometer 
uh, event. So it has a couple of events to uh, reading change. So this is whenever the monitoring is uh, started and the reading has changed. So whenever the device has moved um, and it will give you the values uh, that you can use to update um, whatever you're uh, implementing. Uh, the other thing which is very interesting is the shake detected. So it has like this um, little algorithm built in probably on the OS level, uh, which will detect a shake. Um, so if you combine that, for instance, with the um, screenshotting uh, API that I have um, talked about earlier, um, then you can maybe like do the shake to uh, provide feedback, right? Some apps have that. I know LinkedIn has that. You can shake the app um, and it will bring up a little dialogue like, hey, do you want to provide some feedback to the developer? Um, you can um, so take a screenshot, uh, include that as well. Uh, that will tremendously help the developer of the app. Um, so that's something that you uh, might want to implement as well. Uh, my good friend Matthew Leibowitz has done that. You will find the link in the description of this show. So go check that out. I'm going to stick to the reading change for now. And I'm going to add an event handler here. Um, IntelliSense is not helping me. So oh, can I do this? No, apparently my IntelliSense is not working today. So I'm just going to go do this inline. Um, this is going to be sender args. And I'm going to make a lambda in there. Um, oops, and I want to do the this one. Okay, so there we go. Whoops. Uh, you can also translate this into a your own handler, which is uh, kind of like this one. Actually, it may let me just show you that right now. Uh, so that's going to be a void accelerometer um, reading changed. There we go. Object sender. And which type are these arcs? Accelerometer changed event arcs. There we go. And there we go. So this is exactly the same thing as we are doing here. Um, so I should be able to do just this. And now from within this event, I can uh, update my label. So I have the X label. Uh, well, I should have have the X label. Uh, but for some reason, oh, the X result, was it right? X result, there we go. Uh, text is, and there should be something in the arguments here. So in the arguments, there is the reading, and we're going to say uh, reading, acceleration, and I can see the X, Y, Z. See? Um, so I'm going to do X, and I'm going to copy this a couple of times, Y, uh, Z. This is a float, so I should do this to string. Actually, I'm going to do that differently because I had the um, X, Y, Z in front of it as well. So I'll use the string interpolation here and I'm going to say X and do it like this. Um, if you do it like this, then uh, the to string will automatically be called on this object. So then that's why it start, stops complaining here. Um, this and this X, Y, Z. And this one, this one, and something's not right here. Oh, opening bracket. There we go. Okay, so this should all be done. Uh, then I need to stop this and restart it again. And when our app comes back up, then we should be able to um, see our readings right here. Uh, so I first need to toggle this to uh, turn it on. You can automatically already see the Y is changing. Um, so if you want to test this in the um, Android emulator, you can bring up the uh, options dialog through the little dots down here and you can go to the virtual sensors. So here you can see it's perfectly standing upright, uh, but here you can click this device right here and you can start turning it. And you can see all the values here on the um, simulator starting to, to change. So you see you can, um, if you hold it like horizontal enough, the actual um, simulator will also start to reflect that. So if you put it upright and you can have some, some shortcut buttons here to um, simulate certain positions. Um, and you can see that the values are, are changing accordingly. Now, it's not possible to uh, simulate a shake with this unless you do the exact right thing here. Um, I have not been able to do that. <laughs> so if you are able to do that, let me know how to what the trick is. Um, 
And even more importantly, probably is um, that you cannot test this on iOS. So iOS does not have a dialogue like this. Uh, you will have to test it on a actual physical device. Um, it, the iOS simulator has an option in the menu somewhere to say shake, uh, but it doesn't seem to pick up on the shake. So it didn't trigger anything for me. Um, so if you want to test this on iOS, you need to do that on a real device. One last quick note is that you, uh, as nearly all the uh, Essentials APIs, you want to check if um, the accelerometer is something that you um, is supported on this device. Um, so whenever you start stop these things, uh, you want to uh, capture this in a uh, try catch. And um, there is the specific Essentials um, exception for uh, feature not supported and exception. So I think the feature not enabled is for permissions um, or, or something else. I don't know. Check the documentation. But feature not supported is like, hey, this, this sensor is not on this device, uh, which is also always a good thing to check, right? Um, so um, make sure to do that so your code is robust. And um, yeah, it will work uh, out of the box for all your users. And we've covered yet again another Essentials API. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments um, if you're using this, how you're using this, what API I should handle next. Um, like this video, please subscribe to my channel because there's much, much more to come. Um, and I hope to see you around for my next video.